Hi there, I'm Kimberly with Prickly Pear Homestead in the uh, not so sunny Arizona today. And I'm a homestead homie, and so is Abby here and Einstein in the background. And you are watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Oh, hey guys, you always catch me when I'm cooking. All right, so today what I'm making is kind of a very ancient type meal, a Mediterranean meal. It's called Lulu Kebabs. I grew up eating these all the time. Doug and I, I make them all the time for Doug and I. And um, traditionally they're used with lamb. Um, we use lamb a lot, so I'm kind of tired of lamb for a short time. So we're moving on to the grass fed beef. So you can use either one, whatever you like or prefer what you have. So grass fed beef or lamb, you need one pound. All right. And all you're going to need is some curly parsley. The regular flat leaf works fine too, but when I cook, my parsley and my meats when I'm using them, I like the curly leaf, it just has a better flavor. Um, I did a video a little while back, we'll link that above, about um, parsley and cilantro I did on the benefits of those herbs. So check that out. You need two to three cloves of crushed garlic. You need some cayenne red pepper, some oregano. You're gonna need some cumin. Now the cumin is optional. If you don't wanna put the cumin in it, don't put it in there. It just kind of gives it a little bit of a more of a flavor. Um, if you don't like that flavor, then you don't need to use it. Um, unrefined pink Himalayan sea salt, or if you have any, any other type of unrefined salt, like Celtic salt, those are fine. Some uh, pepper, black pepper, and tomato paste. So those are the ones that we're gonna put it all together. And uh, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna put everything in, and here's my onions. A great big handful of my parsley. I'm going to put in my two to three cloves of crushed up garlic. I'm going to put in a nice heaping tablespoon of oregano. I'm gonna put a nice tablespoon in of cayenne, or not cayenne, cumin. But like I said before, that can be optional. You're gonna put a, you know, a nice, teaspoon or so of, of the salt and your pepper and probably a half a teaspoon of the cayenne. You know you need to go a little soft on that. And then I'm going to put in my two tablespoons of my tomato paste. And then here's the one thing, is here comes my big egg, free range egg right from the farm. And I'm gonna mash this all up. That's why I'm wearing my gloves today. So I'm just going to give it a nice little massage. It's very therapeutic. And then when I get done is, is the best part because I'm going to put them on skewers today. Now when we're making this, I'm going to grill it. I like the way it tastes when it's grilled, but you don't have to grill it. You could bake it if you want. If you have a, a cast iron pan, it would be great probably on a cast iron pan too. So there's lots of different ways that you could do it, either way. So I want to get all those flavors in here. All right, so now I'm gonna massage all those yummy flavors in there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and start preparing um, my rice that I'm gonna use with this. And uh, put it in the refrigerator 15, 30 minutes or so, because then that'll absorb even more flavors, and then it tastes so great. Okay, so now it's been about 20 minutes, and I'm going to prepare mine, uh, my meat, into a, like a little log. So you want to get like a palm size serving of it, and then you're just going to get it, and you're going to kind of roll it into like a little bitty log, just like that. Okay, when it's done, you're going to get your little skewer, and you're just going to put it on there. Just like that. And then I'm going to do this. And then if you have kids and they can't eat as much, you can make them a little smaller. If some people prefer to have them a little bit more well done, you know, you can of course make them smaller if you need to. But just do, you know, the size that's good for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do these. And then when they're all on the skewers, I'm going to uh, put them on the grill and cook them until they're done. And then you guys can prepare them to, 
you know, if you like a medium rare, if you like however you want them. Now, it's your choice if you guys want to, and I like them better on the grill though. That's what I would prefer. But you can go ahead and make them um, on the stove top, like probably in a cast iron pan, or you could go ahead and put them in, um, in the oven and bake them. But they do taste better grilled. All right, so that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and take these and put them out on the grill. Okay, so it's about, I cooked them about 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 at the most. And um, what I did was I served them over some brown rice. And let me tell you a little bit of something about the rice. Lundgren is a very good brand um, here in the United States. And they do very good. They're very low in heavy metal. So if I would be getting rice, that's the brand I would like to get is Lundgren, especially in the brown rice, because brown rice has more, has a lot more heavy metals in it. Um, and I'm serving it today with some fermented red cabbage. I've done some fermented videos, so we'll link those above here. And um, just with a salad. And then I kind of wanted to show you what I do. I get some of the yogurt that I make, and I'm just gonna kind of drizzle it over the top of it. And it, it'll kind of melt, and it just gives it that little extra flavor. Okay? And then I wanted to show you what one looks like inside. Mmm, so scrumptious. I can't wait to eat it. Okay, so that's it for my ancient Mediterranean meal. So I just asked you guys, maybe try this sometime. It is so good. It gives it such a flavor. It is just fabulous. It's one of my favorite go-to things to eat. I just love it. And the yogurt just gives it that little extra flair at the end. So check it out. And check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will be talking to you guys later. See you later. Thank you.